For number eight, or pause and try it, you are going to take your um, fraction here and your other side here, so 10 and 4 fifths meters and 2 meters, and you're going to try and find the perimeter and area. So go ahead and try that first, and we'll be looking for your work, and then I will show you how to do it in just a second. Okay, so for the area, and for the perimeter first, we're going to add up the sides, so 10 and 4 fifths, and I know the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, so I'm just going to write these over here. So I'd be adding 10 and 4 fifths plus 10 and 4 fifths plus 2 plus 2, so these ones, when I put them together, I end up with 20 and 8 fifths plus 2 and 2 is 4. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but this is a improper fraction in here. So I'm going to kind of just deal with this part right now. So 5 goes into 8 once, so I can pull a hole out of there. So that would make this become 21, and then I have 3 fifths plus 4. Then I add them together, and I end up with 25 and 3 fifths. So it was a little more complicated adding mm -hmm. it because you had to do some of the converting. So 25 and 3 fifths meters. Area, <coughs> you're going to be multiplying length times width again. So we have 10 and 4 fifths times 2. Now, Mrs. Van Dam went through and did this on the last problem, but you had two fractions mm -hmm. already. And this one, I have a whole number and a mixed number, so it's a little more complicated. You need, you can still do it, but you have to convert it first. Mm -hmm. So this one, if you remember, you go around, multiply, and add. So if I multiply, 10 times 5 is 40, or 50 plus 4 is 54 over 5 times 2. And when I multiply a whole number, I just turn it into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now I'm going to multiply across, so 54 times 2 is 108 over 5. So there's my answer, although that <laughs> looks still not right. Still a big improper fraction, so mm -hmm. I need to now convert it back. So I take my 108, 5 goes into 108 how many times? So 5 goes into 10 twice, 5 goes into 8 once, I have 3 fifths, Ooh. correct? Mm -hmm. So five, 21 and then 3 is my leftover which would make that my new numerator. Wow. Holy cow. If mm -hmm. you got that one right without help, I am impressed yeah. because it's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next two, there's one that's easy peasy <laughs> and one that's a little more complicated but actually much easier than the one we just did. So you're going to do 9 and 10 on your own and then come back because we still have a couple more for you to do. All right, so now what you're going to notice is we're still dealing with um, area here, but this time we know what the area is and we know what one side length is, so we have to decide what this other side length is going to be. So a lot of you are probably thinking, well, here we had to multiply two sides to get the area, and I know we've talked a lot about in fifth grade that multiplication and division are they go hand in hand they're sort of related in some way or they're inverse operations mm -hmm. so really we're going to take the information that we do have and we can divide it to get this other side that we don't know about yet so some of you might be looking here and thinking oh yikes we have to do some pretty big division and you can do it by hand however we are going to be very nice and let you use a calculator also so, so you got to make sure you write out your equation so we yes. know you know how to actually do this. <laughs> yes, please still show what you are doing. So here I'm still going to show 29 and 76 hundredths and I'm dividing that by 4 and 8 tenths. And so if we plug that into the good old calculator here, try and get it without a glare. Oh yeah. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> um, so we're going to do 29.76 divided by 4.8. And you should get 6 and 2 tenths. And then if I plug that in here, what I always like to do is just make sure it makes sense here. Here this looks shorter, and we have 4 and 8 tenths. And then this looks longer and I have a bigger number here so that at least makes sense to me mm -hmm. if you have something that's way off you might want to rethink what you're doing here and if you look at this rounded 
if we think about estimating, that's really mm. close to 30. Mm -hmm. This is really close to 5, and this is really close to 6. So four, 5 times 6 is 30. So oh, another way awesome. to just kind of check and see. Okay, the next one again is a pause and try it. So if you could take a second and try number 12. Ooh. It looks same idea as what Mrs. Van Dam just did, only with fractions. Just have to so. remember how to divide them. Yep, there was a little trick. Keep change flip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, we've got the area. We've got one side. We are missing the other side. So if I take my 2 divided by 1 third. Now, I would say you can use a calculator on this, but honestly, it's, it's a mess trying to make fractions work on your calculator. Yeah. So just looking at this, I mean, we know that the symbol or the trick is keep the first number, change the symbol, flip the second. So we're finding the inverse here. So it'd be 3 over 1, which is the same as 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. Mm -hmm. That was easy. It would have taken you longer to put it into the calculator <laughs> than it took me to just do that. So 6 feet. So again, this would be 1 third of 6. Mm -hmm. 1 third times 6, 1 third of, and that is 2. So again, just checking to make sure that your answer makes sense. Okay, so now you need to do 13 and 14 on your own. And again, you are allowed to use a calculator, although on 14, I don't think you should. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the back are some word problems. So number, there's a whole bunch of them. We're only asking you to do number 15 and number 17. So make sure that you do 15. Make sure that you do 17. We messed up when we circled 16. <laughs> and then please don't put an X through it because we will be going through some of the other ones in class, but the only two you have to do are 15 and 17. So good luck, and we will check them tomorrow.